11 News to Weather Plus forecast with meteorologist Tony Pan. The high temperature on Sunday was 90 degrees. The high temperature yesterday was 86. I'm sure you could feel the difference out there this afternoon. And whenever the atmosphere makes a big change in air mass like that, it often has to release the energy in the form of some big thunderstorms in June. And that's what's happened over the last couple of days. I plotted the 24 hour Doppler radar estimated rain totals for uh, the last couple of days. And it's pretty impressive in some neighborhoods. These uh, darker shades of orange and red representing close to five inches of rain. You can see the bullseye there up in Harford County, Cecil County, another one in the southern part of Carroll County. So yeah, the rainfall numbers have been pretty big. Now things are going to settle down in the rainfall department, but the rain's not going to completely go away. That's because the front that changed the air mass is stalled to our south. So with that in the vicinity, we got to keep at least a chance for a couple of showers in the forecast. But the winds have shifted to the north and northeast. The last couple of days they've been coming out of the south. But a northeast wind now at 12 miles per hour. And if you've lived here a long time, you know an east northeast wind means chilly temperatures. It's only 59 at BWI. The average high temperature this time of the year is 79. So it's almost 20 degrees below where it should be for high temperatures. Some spots have made it into the 60s. It's 63 in Catonsville, for example, but it's not going to go up too much further than that this evening. Heaviest rain is south of us, though. We've got some uh, strong uh, showers and thunderstorms still down in Virginia, sneaking up into southern Maryland, lower eastern shore counties. But around Baltimore, the weather's going to stay pretty quiet tonight and as far as the rain goes. It's still going to be raining out there, but it's going to be really light and spotty. It won't be a steady rain. So take an umbrella just in case, but uh, no heavy rain tonight. Things aren't going to change much tomorrow. Clouds are going to stick around, off and on showers in the forecast for Wednesday and probably even into Thursday as well. So this whole weather pattern is going to stay with us, it looks like, through the end of the week uh, with just uh, temperatures below average and a couple of off and on showers. And that's the forecast for tonight. A few off and on showers, the temperatures drifting back into the 50s. During the day tomorrow, a uh, repeat of today, mostly cloudy, chance for a couple of showers, but not a steady rain. The high temperatures between 60 and 65 might be a little optimistic on that. It might stick in the 50s in a lot of places. Boating tomorrow, northeast wind at 10 to 15 knots, wave heights 1 to 2 feet. Seven day forecast stacks up like this. The temperatures are going to stay in the 60s on Thursday as well. So this is a big change for us. We spent, uh, you know, 10 days uh, with temperatures in the upper 80s to around 90. 68 on Thursday, 75 on Friday, upper 70s on Saturday. As we go into the beginning of next week, we might get back close to 80 degrees, but uh, I'd say the next six, seven days, we're going to be below normal temperature wise.